Let's take a look at the solar system, which includes eight planets, including the Earth, and seven others that we can compare by using fruit from our pantry, just to see the relative change and difference in the size and volume of each of these planets. They're very different. If we want to build this model, the first thing we're going to need is a wide variety of sizes of fruit. What we've got here is a set of fruit that are roughly relatively correct in terms of the, their proportions, their diameters and their volumes to each other. To start right here on the left, this tiny little yellow dot is the planet Mercury, and Mercury orbits closest to the Sun. Now you may ask yourself, where's the Sun at in our model? If we really relatively wanted to show the Sun, it would be very large here. It would essentially take up the entire side of the frame of this video. And so we don't have anything in the fruit world that we can model the Sun with, but we know that it's thousands of times larger than the planet Earth. Mercury orbits closest to the Sun. It has an extremely hot and extremely cold side, and it's only about 1,500 kilometers in diameter. This 1,500 kilometer diameter planet is about a third the size of planet Earth. If we step up to our green and our purple grapes, those are the planets Venus, which orbits closer to the Sun than the Earth. It's about 3,700 kilometers in diameter. And the Earth, which is slightly larger, just under 4,000 kilometers in diameter. They're roughly the same size, but Venus orbits closer to the Sun than the Earth. If you move towards the outer parts of the solar system, we get to the next planet, which is Mars. And Mars is slightly smaller than the Earth. It's about half the size at about 2,100 kilometers in diameter. And these four planets make up what are known as the inner planets, or the rocky planets, because they're made up of mostly solid rock. In between, we can use our little teaspoon here full of salt to scatter in a little line of material between our blueberry and our watermelon. And that represents the asteroid belt. And asteroids themselves are very small, but even the largest asteroids would show up on this model as something about the size of a speck of salt or maybe pepper. But they're very far apart, and so you're more than likely not to encounter them flying through the belt because there's a lot of space in between them. The largest planet is Jupiter, which is our watermelon here in the middle. And it is about 43,000 or kilometers or so in diameter. And it's 11 times larger than the Earth. It's the largest planet. And it's also called a Jovian planet. It's a gas giant and is largely made up of dense gas. As a matter of fact, one of the most famous parts of Jupiter is the famous Great Red Spot which is a giant storm in the atmosphere of Jupiter that you could see even from telescopes in your own backyard. As you move further out into the outer reaches of the solar system, the planets stay very large in comparison to the inner planets, and Earth especially. This avocado represents the core of Saturn without its rings. It's slightly smaller than Jupiter, but with its rings it's fairly close in size. It's about nine times larger than the Earth. As you move a little further out, we get to the planet Uranus. Uranus is about the size, relatively, of this apple. It's about four times larger than the Earth in diameter. Neptune, the next gas planet out, is also about the same size, about 15,000 kilometers in diameter, and it's slightly smaller than Uranus. One thing that this model does not capture, though, is the relative distance from the Sun to the planets, because in reality, we would have to stretch this several hundred feet into my backyard in order to truly show how far apart these planets really are. Because space, even within the solar system, is very vast. It, once upon a time there was a ninth planet that we called Pluto. And Pluto has been degraded back into a planetesimal or a small planetoid. We don't call it a planet anymore, but it's still out there and somewhere it's about the size of a piece of corn, much like mercury, or a large grain of salt, like one of these 
asteroids. Matter of fact, the largest asteroid in the asteroid belt is called Ceres. And it's approximately the same size as our old friend Pluto, which is the furthest known large body in the solar system. So this is a great way to make a simple model, just demonstrating the relative sizes and positions of the planets using fruit.